What is going on guys? I wanted to make this video sooner, but severe PC issues really kept me from being able to be productive. Dragon Ball Fighters continues to be great, but a decent chunk of its player base has scurried off to sell the game because it wasn't Xenoverse. If you've stuck with the game, you're either comfortable with these kinds of games, or you actually want to get better. DBFZ has a standard tutorial, but it could have really used a more advanced one. I'm going to briefly go over some advanced game mechanics that the game doesn't teach you. First, we have Anti-Air Crouching Heavy Attack. It can be a little difficult, but it is a move designed to cleanly beat out super dashes and certain aerial moves. Super dashes are safe on block, so this is the desired way to counter it. It is pretty unsafe, so be careful when throwing it out. Another technique that is worth mentioning is the Dragon Rush. Teching this move is done by either throwing your own out, like a throw, or by inputting a standing normal of any strength, like a parry. On the other hand, if you land a Dragon Rush, you can maximize its damage by rapidly pressing an attack button. It can also be enhanced by holding a button, but not to the same degree. I'm not sure if this affects damage scaling, but it is worth noting. Now you know how to defend a little better, but what about offense? If you want to know when you can go for big damage, you need to know about slide states. A slide state is caused when you launch a character to the ground during a combo. The only exception is if the combo isn't high enough off the ground. If you do a simple jump combo or a chase after a standing heavy attack, the character will tech as soon as they touch the ground. To avoid this, you can use certain moves that will cause a slide state. You can only combo with a super as any other normal or assist will whip. Speaking of assists, we have assist supers. Traditionally, you would do your point character super and then input your assist to get a DHC or delayed hyper combo, like in other team-based fighting games. In this game, however, you can bypass your point character super and combo directly into your teammates. Yamcha has a weaker air game than most and his combo path is a little different. Comboing into Spirit Ball or Wolf Fang Fist is absolutely doable, but using Tian in this case is more reliable. It also helps get a character out of the fight without consuming that much meter. So how is it done? At the point of the combo where you would cancel or could cancel into a super, you would input half circle forward and either assist 1 or 2. If a character has more than one level 1 super, it will default to one of them every time. If you'd like to combo into level 3, it's half circle back and either assist 1 or 2 instead. Finally, Sparking Blast. If you play the game without external information, Sparking Blast is a mechanic that boosts your damage and increases your health recovery, strength of which varies on how many teammates you have left. There is a lot more to it than that. Normally, standing medium attack can be jump cancelled on hit only. Not the character, but you, you know what I meant. With this mechanic, you can jump cancel any normal on block or hit. This makes your pressure game really strong and unpredictable. On top of that, the universal forward medium overhead can be cancelled into a special, key blast, or air dash, allowing for some disgusting pressure. If that weren't enough, your already pretty safe super dash doesn't have pushback in this mode. What that means is, if you use it during a block string, you can go into any air normal of choice to continue uninterrupted pressure. Tien, for example, has some of the best light normals in the game. So this can be particularly devastating in the right hand. As if all of that weren't enough, the last thing that changes is your vanish attack. Normally, it functions like a one bar reversal that is safe on block, but you don't get anything noteworthy off of a straight hit. In Sparking Blast, however, you can hold the vanish input for a second to teleport behind the opponent without the kick coming out. This can lead to a full punish that can be devastating with the Sparking Blast damage buff already applied on top of that. And y'all said X-Factor was broken. That about wraps up some of the most important mechanics that are built in yet not explained. I could talk about triple jumping or pseudo jumping with auto combos and things like that, but those aren't really built in mechanics but just a symptom of the game design itself. If you have no idea what that is, I highly suggest checking out a video I linked in the description that explains it really well. Hopefully you learned something, and if you have any questions or need some tips, just ask away. That's it for now, so just remember to stay godlike. I'll see you next time.